Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, uh, let's play uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, I didn't set my alarm last time, that's kind of why I thought it was over long, it was only 12 minutes or so, uh, but um, uh, I'm ready now. Uh, okay, so we're going to trade, f after trading with US, uh, okay that was what we did last, so we're going to start the game. And uh, there's not going to be a whole lot happening, so I'm just going to go to speed 5 until like research gets done or uh, a uh, political effort gets done. So we have this national focus, anti-German military, ideology drift defense plus 5%. So for some reason, um, the Yugoslavia don't like Germans. I didn't read the history. Uh, um, so, factions within Yugoslavian Air, For Air Force are opposed to cooperating with Germany. They may attempt to overthrow the regime if the country opens their borders or enters an alliance with the Third Reich. I have never tried to uh, become their allies since I plan to take their lands. Uh, so, that has never been an issue, but I, but it'd be interesting to see what happens if you... Uh, ally the Germans but uh, one of the things we we have is um, I have a claim Yugoslavia has a claim on Italy and that's how I generally start a war with the Axis is by declaring on Italy but um, most of the time I don't have to do anything they'll declare war on me and I uh, half the time I'm caught, you know, with my pants down, no uh, defense on the line because I'm fighting uh, Hungary or or something. And so, uh, so, so this time around, for sure, um, we want to have something on the, on the border. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, as soon as the game starts rolling, you'll find that as Yugoslavia, you are totally behind in infantry equipment like 2,000 days behind so that's so to deal with that issue um, this time around I'm going to build uh, military factories first so usually I start with a civilian factory and then a military factory and just go on like that civilian military civilian military uh, but this time around, we're just going to go pure uh, military factory. And instead, we're going to use our political effort to get us these factories. So let's pause. We, we're on speed 5, so we don't want to. So Germany has remilitarized the Rhineland. So according to their treaty after World War One, they couldn't put troops here. But... Uh, but they've decided to put troops here and uh, so um, and uh, that's the first step towards their uh, militarization uh, we got political effort that gives us 120 points of uh, political power and the first thing we do with that political power is to hire a fascist demagogue because um, we want to turn fascist as soon as possible. Right now, we're only 10% fascist, 15% communist, and 15% uh, democrat, and mostly uh, Regency Council non-aligned. So we're going to go fascist them. And then I'm going to try doing the younger generation. I've seen, usually this works out pretty good, higher-ups, but uh, the, I'm going to try younger generation. I know that the option to have a civil war happens if you choose younger generation will take up the torch. But uh, in my experience, also you can also get the uh, like when you have the option to choose civil war. I, I've never chosen the one below yet. I haven't had the chance to, so I want to see what happens if that. Uh, if I choose that, um, let's do the younger generation. But I found that doing the younger generation also seems to speed up your conversion to fascist regime. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not sure if that's 
absolutely the case or just chance. Uh, the next we're going to go collectivist. We're well on our way to become fastest. And uh, how's tech? Took Ethiopia, okay. So Italy took Ethiopia. Sorry about that. We're going speed 5 and my computer not terribly fast. Um, so let's see what the Germans are working on. anti common turn pack. So they're going to invite me and I'm going to refuse and that's where it gets hairy between uh, me and the Axis uh, or Yugoslavia and the Axis. Western Balkans. What's the deal with Western Balkans? Nothing. Oh, I've got a fact free factory immediately put to infantry equipment because we're still like 2,000 days. Okay, so with the extra factory, 16 hard days <laughs> before uh, Spanish Civil War. National Spain declare on. So I don't really care which way they swing, you know, and. I don't really have the extra troops to go send them to war down here anyways. Uh, but I think the war usually ends before I uh, turn fastest and right now I can't do anything. I can't send I can't send anybody troops I don't think. Offer military. Join war. Uh, send volunteers. I, I don't have any of those options. But that's fine. I wasn't going to anyways. But if you were um, Germany, I think you can. Germany and Russia uh, and USSR, you can uh, send send help to whichever side you're supporting. Let's see, we should be close to finishing a research. Uh, not quite. So we would like to have artillery in our next war. So pu public support. So that's that's good. That means we're a good chance of turning fastest. So if we can uh, turn fastest quickly, we can declare war on uh, Greece earlier. But what I found is actually going to war a little too early uh, isn't good because I don't have my equipment built up and uh, the uh, allies and axes becomes more wary of you perhaps or more likely to turn on you um, so collectivist ethos so we're gonna go down to nationalist focus um, Daily fascism support uh, point one. So that's going to be to help us become fascist even faster. Uh, that reduces the uh, democratic support. So we're gonna we're, we're reducing democratic support at the same time we're increasing fascism support. Now this game I know is totally not PC. You know, it, you know, be fascist because. Otherwise, if you if you don't become fascist or a communist, you you just you're never gonna war. You're gonna have to wait to World War II, and at that point, it's just it's just not you know it's too long. You know, too long to wait. I want Greece. I want Hungary. You know, I want to take territory. I would love uh, Romania, but um, that's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna, we've got artillery. So we're, now we're going to go and do our usual things. We're going to go increase production and uh, and also tech. Let's do that. And we want some artillery. So I think I'm going to go 
and start this line. Um, I don't want to interrupt this, so uh, we're going to do this. So the next factory that comes, it's going to go towards the tow artillery. And hopefully that will be soon. Now, um, I don't want my Air Force, I, I want to gather my Air Force together. So I want to make sure they're not everywhere else. So eventually I'm going to put them here. And they're going to help me get air superiority over Greece. So two oil, let's see, what does that affect? That affects tank production. Once again, none of the other things use it, so I don't care. Light tanks, I'm just going to have that one light tank division that, that's already here. That's that's the only one I'm going to have. I'm not going to build any more light tank divisions. Just I'm going to keep this just to uh, keep this line up, just to build some uh, replacements. For uh, for for that one uh, division. Yeah, let's see. Let's check out what the how much light tanks it takes. Sixty light tanks. And I would rather go the heavy tank route. Now, a lot of people will say, "Oh, light tanks are a lot cheaper, or, or medium tanks are cheaper than heavy tanks, right?" And it's true, a little bit. But they also you have also have to consider uh, when you put them into your your uh, division. You have to put sixty, right? It shows right here. You have to put sixty tanks. So uh, one single light tank will cost uh, will require sixty light tanks to be added, and. For medium tanks, it's 50, and for heavies, it's 40. So you're making less. You 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 you're making. How should I say? It it costs more and takes longer to make heavy tanks, uh, but you're also using a little fewer of them, uh, and they are more effective for defense. Right? They have a lot more armor. Right? The light tanks don't have that much armor it's gonna give you 4.7 like if I put a heavy tank here it would be like 30 armor and nobody can preach that right um, and it's gonna give you a huge uh, combat bonus and if you haven't seen it before uh, I'll show you uh, I've watched a lot of uh, Arumba and uh, Shen videos and I learned it from Arumba mostly so the next one we're gonna do the captain of industry it's gonna speed up factory uh, production and it's also gonna uh, yeah it construction speed basically so we need that um, and then we'll go from there uh, still the same resource two oil no problem we we'll go speed five again Okay, let's see. We've done this res Oh, we've got fighters too. So that's another line I have to think about. Like, how are we going to do this? Um, next, we want... That's nice, but I think we need to start going... Uh, improving our infantry stuff. So, um... The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna improve the, uh, this one, I think. Unless there's, oh, no, 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 we're gonna do research, electronic engineering research. Yeah, let's improve our research speed a little bit. And so these two are done, um, and then we will, uh, no, no, no. We want maintenance company, it takes a long time to do it. Uh, we need recon and maintenance so I think we're gonna go recon first and then we're gonna do maintenance later um, there's no uh, focus that gives us bonus towards uh, uh, those 
supports uh, the, uh, the uh, what do you call those support companies. And so, uh, of course, reducing the uh, research speed, like uh, there's a lot of uh, focus you can, uh, like Army Focus will give you a one time 50% research bonus for Land Doctrine. And this will give you a one time research bonus for infantry weapons but there's nothing for uh, for the uh, support support bat battalion so it's it's better to knock them out first I think uh, so now same thing we have same issues manpower uh, okay so what do we have oh oh nice nice we've already finished building those okay uh, military factors so we want more military factories. Uh, we build. Let's build a couple in Moravia. And we have. Oh, we need tungsten and steel. Let's see. Unfortunately, this is going to reduce this by forty-five percent. Hmm. So we're going to add another factory towards this and uh, we're going to add another factory towards this. And then we'll import tungsten and steel later. Like, yeah, so, so we're missing steel, so we're producing a lot less of these convoys and it's going to matter, but not a whole lot. So let's, let's look at how many tanks we have we're not going to really use light tanks so so i think i'm going to cut this production line all together and that means we'll have less of a steel problem and we'll also have enough factories more factories for building uh this stuff so now we're gonna we're lacking in two tons then so let's see I think we do need to trade. We do need to trade for that. Um, let's trade with the U.S. for tungsten. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So next, I think the next two we we're gonna really need to uh, put into uh, infantry equipment and uh, support equipment. Because we're still like a, a thousand days out. Yeah, 900 days out from uh, filling uh, our orders to uh, to have every every soldier uh, have weapons, carry weapons. So so what happens if you're behind, right? If you're behind and you don't have enough equipment for your troops, if you click on your troop, you'll notice, right? Uh, they're fighting at 70% strength. This one's even worse. 39% strength. And um, yeah, so so they're, they're not fighting at full strength. And it's going to, you know, you don't want them to fight. You want them to fight at full strength, of course, so that they can win the battle, right? So, okay. So uh, let's get through. Time's almost up. Let's take a look at this. So the Soviets have decided to go with the purge. They they did that purge national fo this focus, uh, and so they they lost a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of generals. Um, and then we just finished this national focus. So the first thing we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do industrial effort because we're not going to need these just yet. So we're going to go industrial focus and I want to do one military building, military uh, factory before we, we move over and start uh, researching for these. And uh, so uh, it's been over 20 minutes. Uh, let's take a break. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.